Good day ladies and gentlemen. For today, I will be discussing to you the story of Francisco Arceliana entitled Divided by Two. But first, let us talk about the writer of the story, Francisco Arceliana. Francisco Franz Arceliana is a Filipino writer, essayist, journalist, a poet, and a teacher. He was born on September 6, 1916 in Manila. He already had ambitions of becoming a writer in early childhood. His actual writing, however, started when he became a member of the Torres Torch organization during his high school years. Arceliana continued writing in various school papers at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Later on, he received a Rockefeller grant and became a fellow in creative writing at the University of Iowa and at the Bradloaf Writers Conference in 1956 to 1957. Francisco Arceliana was proclaimed national artist of the Philippines in literature in June 23, 1990 by then Philippine President Corazon C. Aquino. Arceliana died on August 1, 2002. As a national artist, he was given a state funeral at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Arceliana is also considered as the most important progenitor of the modern Filipino short story in English. He pioneered the development of the short story as a lyrical, prose poetic form within Filipino literature. His works are now often taught in tertiary level syllabi in the Philippines. Obviously, we are discussing his story right now. Many of his works were translated into Tagalog, Malaysian, Russian, Italian, and German. Arceliana won second place in the 1951 Don Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature with his short story, The Flowers of May. Fourteen of his short stories were also included in Jose Garcia Villa's honor roll from 1928 to 1939. His major achievements included the first award in art criticism from the Art Association of the Philippines in 1954, the Patnubay ng Sining at Kalinangan Award from the City Government of Manila in 1981, and the Gawat Pambansang Alagad ni Balagtas for English Fiction from the Union ng Mga Manunulat sa Pilipino o Umpil in 1988. So for now, let us talk about the characters of the story. First is the narrator. Second is Belle, the wife of the narrator. Third is the neighbor couple. Fourth is Nata, the one who sent the letter to the couple. Then next is the three boys who help their neighbors in the fence. Then last is the other neighbors who saw them during the argument. So let's talk about the setting of the story. So the story took place in the probably in a village full of cottages. Then it took place around afternoon until evening and then on the road outside. Next is the conflict of the story. So the conflict of the story is that they are not satisfied by the position of the fence. So it is probably man versus man. So now, I will be telling you what the story is all about. The story started while they are watching their neighbor. The husband is putting up a fence between the cottages. With him are three boys. Meanwhile, the wife is playing some classical music. Belle seems to dislike what they are doing, putting up a fence without consulting them and playing some classical music. 
They had arguments about their neighbor. Bell's husband realized that the music suddenly stopped, so he went to their music player. Before he could play something, Bell interrupted him. Bell feels like their neighbor, the wife doesn't seem to like her. Bell wants to be friends with her by giving her some gifts, but it seems that she doesn't like her. Bell's husband doesn't seem to care about that. Bell said to take a look at the fence because she noticed that the fence are near their cottage. He was upset so they thought they could give their neighbor a note about the fence on a yellow paper using the old typewriter. While typing, he started to hear some classical music again from their neighbor. They called Nata to send the note when it was finished. The music suddenly turned off and he noticed that the neighbor is approaching their cottage. Their neighbor, the husband, invited him to talk on the street. It was deep in the night then. Belle's husband was surprised because their neighbor asked if Belle and he were fighting. He became furious when their neighbor told him to take their problem about the fence to the authority. Their loud conversation attracted the other neighbors. Suddenly, Belle appeared and broke them from shouting at each other. Her husband insists that this is their fight, so she should not interfere. It is while her husband is dragging her away, forcibly. So now, I will discuss to you the plot of the story. First is the exposition. The story started while Belle and her husband are watching their neighbor putting up a fence. Rising action. Belle seems to dislike what their neighbors are doing, so she confronted her husband and they made a letter for their neighbor. Climax. The neighbor confronted Belle's husband about the matter. Falling action. Belle's husband became furious and they had an argument. Denoma. Belle interrupted in the argument and she was dragged away by her husband and they left together. So the point of view of the story, actually the author used a first person's point of view. The mood of the story is unsympathetic because as you can see, Belle's husband doesn't agree with her every time she complains about something. The tone of the story is a little bit sarcastic and hostile. It is sarcastic because sometimes when Belle's husband asks if it is right or not, although he can actually see that it was, then it is hostile because it was unfriendly and it is a little bit antagonistic. So in the symbolism, actually the story symbolizes a certain gap. Not just the gap between the cottages but also the gap between Belle and her husband which is the, the real um, structure of the story. It is actually the gap between the husband and the wife. The theme of this story is probably about the truth behind the divided two. It's not just actually about the fences, but it's actually about Belle and her husband. So the moral lesson of the story is that some things are meant to be kept so that nobody will get hurt. And as a couple, you must face every challenges together like every decisions in life you must be together in that journey because according to the story divided by two it's not actually about the cottage which is half into divided into two it's actually about Belle and her husband who 
were separated, not literally, because they are still married, but they are apart from each other. Their feelings does not complement with each other.